Hello everyone, welcome back to Played Up, and uh, I want to give you guys a little announcement here, and that is that I am going to decide to start a new restaurant here right now, in this episode. So, this restaurant, I know you guys have probably been wanting to see how I got to all of my super automated coffee restaurant, right? Um, so... What I'm going to do with this series here is I'm going to start from the very beginning. And I know, I think pretty sure you guys have been wanting to see this. So I'm going to start from day zero, right? I'm going to start with black coffee and I'm going to try to get as automated as I have in the past. I know I've tried this before in a series, but there were two issues with that one i wasn't talking right so it was kind of hard to gauge what my plan was but two i didn't really have it down quite right yet right but let's keep this in mind is that um sometimes played up gives you the random generator and things just don't work out so unless it works out with the cards i won't be able to help you guys to learn how to fully automate black coffee but if we have good luck and i'm hoping we do and i'm pretty sure we will but if we do have good luck you guys will be able to learn right from the beginning how to work black coffee and get the, one of those really big restaurants okay so i have done this a few times uh, I think there's two, maybe three times that I have done it on camera. So let's go and do this. Let's prep our restaurant. I'm going to use the same seed I've been using since the beginning. I know it doesn't have a cool name and stuff, but I do love that seed and I'm going to use that seed. So let's get going. We're going to go ahead and find black coffee over here. He did add this nice filing cabinet, which I absolutely love. So you don't have to keep resetting to find what you want to make. There's black coffee right there. Perfect. Um, I'm not a fan of Alpine. Uh, let's pick. But I want city or country. Maybe I want... Let's try country for once. And then, of course, I'm going to get that seed, JJ46X3RT. For those of you who've been around for a while, you'll know that this is pretty much the seed I always use. With some exceptions, of course. There's a certain pizza restaurant where I accidentally used a different seed. Was it accidentally or on purpose? I'm not sure. But this is the seed I like to use. And there was no glitch, so we got the map we wanted. All right so okay we're gonna start this restaurant i'm gonna start from zero okay that means that even though i have this huge storage room with a bunch of stuff i honestly personally don't like using any of this stuff i like to start from zero none of it okay so we have our plan our restaurant plan set. We have our recipe. I think we're ready to go. Let's do this. Well, here we are in our new restaurant. Just in case, I'm going to read the recipe, even though I'm pretty sure we already know it's a very easy recipe. Black coffee. Take a cup from the machine and place it on the machine to fill it. Tips. Recipes can be viewed at any time in the pause menu. That's pretty much for any recipe, right? And of course, as with any restaurant, we start off with our booking desk, which is actually very important when it comes to black coffee. Let's arrange our tables as they should go. If you guys have been around for a while, you'll know I always arrange my tables like this at the beginning of a restaurant. But here we go. Uh, I like to put a something here, a counter usually, to make sure this door is not functional. 
So why do I put my counters here? Uh, the reason for this is that I do not want messes to come through. And the first place they're going to go through is right across from these tables. So if I have this uh, thing here, this counter is going to block any of the dirt. So, I also like to have two per table. I don't want to have any uh, discrepancies. Let's buy this free booking desk. Okay, let's put all the counters close to the coffee maker. And right now, all of this stuff I can ignore. I'm never going to use this sink. Let's keep it just in case something happens. This blueprint cabinet is going to be very useful coming up, okay? So, is there anything else I need to do? No. Coffee is very simple. All I have to do is start the day. So, let's do this. Let's go. Of course... It's always a good idea to get a good buffer of uh, coffees on the counters, right? Um, because once I start using that uh, booking desk, things are gonna get a little bit hectic. But here's the first day, so uh, it shouldn't be a big problem. It only takes three on the first day. Uh, here we go. Okay. First day is always very fast. Sometimes the customers take a little bit, but I shouldn't even need that last coffee. Okay, it looks like that's the day. Okay. So that's the end of the day, right? No more other people. Day one, super easy, right? With that booking desk, especially. Okay. So right now, we're expecting a research desk. So we're going to put that into this blueprint cabinet. So that in the next round, hopefully, we'll get another research desk. And we'll be able to get a blueprint desk right away from that. Obviously, right now, I can't afford anything else. We have this, uh, what's it called? Um, we have this, uh, I don't even know. None of this stuff is even affordable. Uh, yeah, so we have a research desk in the blueprint cabinet. Hopefully, and usually in the next round, I'll get another research desk and I'll be able to upgrade this other research desk into eventually a blueprint cabinet, which we can use to get other cool stuff. Okay, so I don't know if there's even a point in waiting around. I can't afford anything and uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, let me just get a good buffer again. Things are a little bit sluggish, but uh, it's okay. Okay. Okay, let's do three of them. And it was just enough to fill up that bar again. And here at the beginning of the game, uh, this, uh, this whole thing with, uh, how many customers come in doesn't really matter much. It's very irrelevant. But I am struggling with my uh, lag because I guess the audio is slowing things down. I wasn't expecting that, but never had that problem before when I was not talking. 
Okay, day two is over. So now we're in day three prep. Hopefully we got our research desk here. There it is. Okay. So let's put this over here. And you know what? Let's put everything over here so it's more accessible. Uh-huh. Right there and right there and boom. Right there and buy this. And again, we're left with three coins. So if there's nothing much else we can do other than research. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So this is all pretty quick and straightforward, right? Now let's do some research, 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 research. Right? Let's go. Research, 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 research. Okay, we got that taken care of. Let's get a little buffer here so that we can use the booking uh, desk. Okay, uh, a little more. Let's get like four ready. And a fifth one in. Okay, fifth one is in. Let's get three people in. Okay. Okay, uh, let's get you taken care of here. As long as there's something in the coffee machine, you can go out and put more things on the tables. Of course, in that case, I didn't do it, but that's fine. But what did we get here? This is the end of the day, by the way. These days are very quick. Even though we make very little money, we get very quick days. Especially with that booking desk. We don't want that book, that discount desk. We want the blueprint desk. Okay, nice. We got one star. Very cool. Rating increase. And of course, we're targeting five stars, but beyond, right? We want to get full automation, which is well past that five star point. So. Cool. Of course, this is the key to full automation right here. These decisions. We never want to pick more food. If we pick once, just once, an extra food item, we're going to end up with bad decisions. Because eventually we're going to be like, oh, we have to pick between this food and this food. But if we never pick an extra food item, we'll never have to worry about picking extra food. Okay. So... I'm going to pick the right one, and it's called Victorian Standards, which is customers lose patience when looking at players. Now, here's the thing. I'm sitting in the kitchen. The customers are in the dining area. There's a wall between us. That means that the customer will never see me, and they will never lose patience because they won't actually see me, even though I'm right next to them. So... Victorian standards doesn't do anything in this case. Especially not with this seed, okay? Maybe even with most seeds, it won't do anything. Unless you have multi-team, a multi-people team, right? So, let's pick Victorian standards. And here we are. So, let's go check our cards. I know we don't want this one yet. We don't want a discount desk. That's very expensive and we don't need it right now. We need a blueprint cabinet. A uh, blueprint desk. Uh, none of this stuff is very useful to me. Not at the moment. It will later, but I don't have any other blueprint cabinets. So I would love to, to save this dining table, but can't really do much with it right now. Uh, don't need bins. I don't need... I don't even know. This is... I've never successfully used a hosting stand. Sharp cutlery. That is completely irrelevant to coffee. Right? Uh, that won't do anything. Uh, let's see. Counters. Counters might be helpful, but... Coffee makes very little money. So buying a counter right now would be detrimental. 
So let's just keep going. Okay. I'm going to do more research. But first I'm going to make one coffee at least. So that we don't waste time. There we go. Research, 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 research. Perfect. We have our blueprint cabinet. No, that's a copy desk. That's a copy desk. We don't want that one either. We want the blueprint desk. No, no. What am I doing? Let's do the three at least. Okay. Hello guys, you guys want coffee? Probably, right? Pretty sure everyone here wants coffee. Welcome to... Yellow books, I guess. I was gonna use the booking desk, but it's already maxed out. Get rid of that, please. See, that's... That's a very... This is something annoying in every restaurant. Is that dirt. Okay, so we did not yet get our... Blueprint desk, but that's fine. We're still at a young stage in this restaurant. Oh, wow. Did we literally almost get the exact same stuff? Yeah, none of this is gonna do anything. Okay. Yes, the beginning of Played Up is a little slow when it comes to black coffee. We are getting close to a full episode. Um, I am gonna do one, maybe two more days here. We do want to get that blueprint desk. So I am going to go at least one more day. But there's really nothing else I can buy here. So let's go. Let's upgrade this uh, copy desk. I would love a copy desk. But right now the blueprint desk is much more useful. There you go. Bye. Okay. There we go, right there. One, two, three. I always do three, at least. The reason I use... Okay, I'll tell you guys right now. The reason we use the booking desk is not because we want the days to be over quickly. That doesn't matter. The reason we actually use the booking desk is because you actually get extra money from it. If you don't use the booking desk, you're going to be broke the whole time. But with the booking desk, it helps you get more money more quickly. And it's just not it's not just because you get done quicker. No, it's because you actually get more. You get bonus money, like 3 coins per call or something like that. So, yeah. That's why we use the booking desk in coffee especially. So I hope I'm being informative with you guys. This is mostly all from experience. I never actually read any of this. I just learned this from playing played up. Okay, so that was a very fast day. I might do that one more day. This time, we do have a blueprint desk. Oh, look at that. We have a decision here to make. So, with these, I always like to look at the last thing. Okay. And let's compare that last thing, because the last thing is very important. On the left, we have exclusive, and our last thing is queue stop table patients decreasing. Okay. It's alright. On the right, we have tables create no mess. Okay, that's not bad either. Um... Bonus patience when delivering food is number two on formal. 
extra items per the extra money per the item delivery is on the left. Decreased mass versus increased cube visions. Okay, so this is what determined the difference between my two first two coffee places. I had the one on the left on my first coffee place, and I had the front on the right on my second coffee place. The most obvious difference, and this is a more of an aesthetic thing, I guess, is that formal is not so noisy. Whereas exclusive, you hear the... So, I think I personally prefer the quiet one. So I'm going to go with formal instead of exclusive. Because they're all... They're both pretty much equally good. You get more money with the left one, but I think the quietness kind of wins over the extra money, honestly. Because you get a lot of money either way, eventually. Not right now. Not at the beginning, at least. So I'm going to go with formal. But anyways, so this is a decoration round. But let me buy that blueprint. Uh desk here it's 60 so i'm left with 30. oh and i probably can't afford anything let's see um i can afford an abstract lamp maybe a vase or an abstract lamp. They're both the same price. So are the tidy plants. What do we want? I guess... I guess I'll get the plant this time. The plant's nice. I've never gotten the plant before, honestly. But I can't afford anything else. I have one coin. Okay, that sounds like a plan. I think I'm gonna go one more day. It should be a quick day. These All these days are very quick. But before I do that, uh, do I want to redecorate? Maybe I'll put these stripes here. Which don't actually look like stripes. They look like squares. Um... Maybe let's put these brown stripes here, which are not stripes again. And... Let's take a look at this one. That's very flowery. It's not really flowers, but... Huh. I actually think I could prefer the flowery one. This one's kind of dull. Fine. Oh, let's compare it to this one. Yeah, I prefer the flowery one, I guess. Okay. Um Let's do this. There's nothing else for me to put in the cabinet, so Yeah, let's go. Let's look for some good stuff to put in that uh blueprint desk. So the thing with blueprint desks is every time you use a booking desk it changes the blueprint so i gotta be careful with that i'll use this three times as i normally would black coffee it really is so much more enjoyable because it is so much more obtainable, honestly. And I messed up. Okay. Jeez, you guys are messy. Jeez. One coffee per person. That's what I love about black coffee. Oh, yes. Give me that. Even though I don't have a copy desk. That's fine. A grabber would be wonderful right now. 
especially a rotating grabber. Man, that would be great. I'm getting them too early. Is that it? That's the end of the day. Well, these days are going by fast. So fast. Okay. Well, we're getting close to the end of this episode. Let's just wait until we get all our blueprints. Um, collect everything that we need. Buy whatever we can afford. And then that's the end of this episode. So let's go ahead and move forward. Of course, the obvious decision. As painful as this is, yes, we will have to pick discounts. We don't want to do iced coffee. That will ruin the automation, okay? I'm sure there's a way to automate with all kinds of different food. But my style is, and this is, I've learned this from other YouTubers. Um, pretty sure we all know who. I prefer never to pick more food and to go with whatever horrible card they offer me. So, in this case, I'm going to get the discounts card, which is earn 25% less money. And let's pick it. All right. Oh, there it is. That's our decision made. Now, let's see what blueprints we got. I know we got a conveyor, which is awesome. So let's put that into the blueprint cabinet. Everything else is pretty much useless right now. But I do want to get at least a grabber, maybe a rotating grabber. Definitely a rotating grabber, honestly. Um, we also hope to get a more another coffee machine soon. So that is going to be for another day. We are at day seven preparation. Um, thank you guys for watching my episode of this new black coffee series. The, oh, you know what? No, we're not going to keep that same name. We have used this name before in a series, more espresso, and we're going to change that. And what we're going to change it to is going to be, uh, so what do we want to call this? Uh, let's see. How do we even, okay. More espresso was our last, one of our last um, fully automated coffee shops. And it had a good run. It did better than the first one. But we don't want to reuse the same name. So, I think I want to call this one something different. And I think I know a good name. Espresso yourself I know I used an X and I know it's spelled with an S but it's a thing okay I think this is a good name and I think I'm gonna go with it okay so this is our new series of coffee espresso yourself like the song right oh there we go. That's our new coffee restaurant. Like I said, guys, please. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching these episodes of my played up series. And I really hope that you guys like these videos. If you did, please leave a like. And I really hope you guys subscribe to my channel. It would be very helpful for me. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.